we're back. Time to rest and relax and end this up. It wasn't as long as the snow event, but it was uh just as crazy. So we're heading to the Jade Chamber. I don't remember how to get back up there. Probably going the wrong way, right? amazing all of you here are my distinguished guests I am determined that each of you thoroughly enjoys yourself those who don't drink alcohol please help yourself to other beverages fine wine is a delight to the senses but it is far from the only one I trust you will find the marvelous view from the Jade Chamber to be an equally gratifying indulgence have you heard Miss Yun's going to be performing today Sure have. Honestly, it's the main reason I'm here. I've never missed any of Ms. Yun's performances, and I don't intend to start now. I hear she's going to perform The Divine Damsel of Devastation today, the one written by her father. I've been so excited that I've barely slept the last few nights. Hey, look! Ms. Yun is going on stage! Hmm.
时鹤归，茫茫天地无依靠，孤身离去。今日再会，新朋旧友坐满堂，共聚此时。What did you think, Smilly? I thought I sang rather well. It was beautiful. Paimon wants to learn too. It was wonderful. Also, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks to you, the Divine Damsel of Devastation is a more nuanced tale than ever. The play has an ending, but life goes on. I believe you will find a way to fit in in Li Yue Harbor. Thank you. I think I found the opportunity I needed to change. Ms. Yun, <laughs> here you are. Great to see you. Huh? Hey, this young lady with the white hair looks like some kind of VIP. Yeah, that's it, like an adeptus. Wait, you're the girl from the opera, aren't you? The divine damsel herself. And look who else we have here, the illustrious traveler. Well, I'll be. This was definitely worth showing up for. Let me pull up a chair. All right. We'll all have a friendly chat, get better acquainted. <sighs> Alternatively, you could leave us alone. That is, if you'd prefer to finish your drink via the orifice of your own choice. Uh-oh, this feels all too familiar. Shenhe's back to her old self again. Hey, what are you doing? Calm down, Shenhe. Calm down. All right. That is that. You've made an exceptional contribution toward the building of the new Jade Chamber. I will not forget this. I shall be sure to repay your kindness at an appropriate juncture. To act, one must first feel. After our trip to Mount Tianhong together, I felt much more in touch with the character today. I believe I was able to deliver a more profound performance because of it. Next time I have a new opera, may we study the character together again? Hmm. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I'm glad Master sent me here to deliver the sigils. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the chance to meet you. I'm sure I have much to learn from you in the future. I wonder when I'll be able to build a jade chamber of my own. <sighs> It'll take a lot more wealth than I have now. But hey, you've got to dream big. Who knows, if I keep working at it, maybe one day. Drinking and watching opera in the Jade Chamber. A rare and exquisite pleasure. And this guy. More wine! More wine! Oh, is that it for the Jade Chamber? <laughs> Nothing left to do, it looks like. Wolf territory. See. But do I just take off? You've made an exceptional contribution toward the build. I will not forget this. Because I can take off. Whoa.
can't believe I finished up so quickly. Well, let me see here. Since we've got the time. Let me look. Why don't we do a pull this video? Why not? We've got the time to pull for Shinha or Yujin. I only need 640. Sure, why not? Hold on. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. Why not? What do you know? There she is. number 70. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Two more before my uh, five star comes through. So, oh, yeah. Let's talk to you, Jin. Let's meet you, Jin. There she is. As the saying goes, you never truly know someone until you meet them in person. And at long last, I finally have the great honor of meeting you today. My name is Yunjin, and I am humbled to be the director of the Yunhan Opera Troupe. We have been performing at Haiyu Tea House as of late, and we'd be honored to have you attend a performance sometime. Oof. My waistband has been feeling a little snug these last couple of days. Methinks I perchance have overindulged. Ah, <sighs> yes. I shall spare myself the hair and makeup routine today, and happily idle my time away. Let's see here. Sometimes, I just feel like casting off my opera costume and going traveling overseas. You know, to explore the outside world. For now, I'll need to keep working hard at what I'm doing, so someday that dream can come true. You're also a spear user? Huh.
So now it's just about Shinha. Uh, to act, one must first feel. After our trip to Mount Tianhung together, I felt much more in touch with the character today. I believe I was able to deliver a more profound performance because of it. Next time I have a new opera, may we study the character together again? Okay. So... What I want to do here is see about Inazuma. Check one thing, it's not there anymore. Why not? She's by the other one, right? Where? Uh... Oh. Yeah, she's right by the other one. Did not expect it to end that quickly. Children, come, come. <laughs> You've arrived at just the right moment. I've been looking for you. Oh, what is it, Granny? Need any help? Oh, no, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might give you in return. A gift? For Paimon? <laughs> oh, child, you are so very modest. Uncommonly so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't allow it. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. That simply won't do. Especially since, I imagine, you still have a very long journey ahead of you. Fortunately, I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. Oh, did my friends never mention that to you? Well then, it is a blessing we old folks once received from Rex Lapis. Part of our illumination, if you will. I will not go into too much detail, but subspace creation is the ability to create a small, autonomous pocket world. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created using that ability. So, in the eyes of an Adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Oh. Indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. 
Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. That is what one might call an exercise of true power. Huh? But that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a few final materials to add the finishing touch. That's right! Finding stuff's what we're good at, after all! Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to go running hither and thither. <laughs> I have already found a fleet-footed youngster to prepare what I need. What's more, I doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am searching for. Some of them are very rare indeed these days. Well, for starters, I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. You would have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And, if you were lucky enough, you just might find a small patch of shimmer soil there. But almost no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is today. Even more difficult to find is Smaragdus Jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or, so it used to be. Ever since the Black Cliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all but completely bare of it. In any case, Smaragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. Extended contact with it is, in fact, harmful to humans. Ah, <sighs> goodness knows if that child will succeed in finding these items. Since you're an Adeptus, Granny, the person you asked for help, they must be an Adeptus too, right? Hmm, yes. I suppose she does count as an Adeptus. She counts? How come there are so many Adepti in Leela Harbor? We seem to bump into them all the time. It feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an Adeptus and never even know it. <laughs> Maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life, after all. I'm back, Granny. Oh, who is this? Oh, I don't believe we've met. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yen Fei. She's the one helping run some errands for me. Yen Fei? I believe you've already heard of the Traveler and her traveling companion. Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about you in the Millilith's records. You became one of Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian Karst and made contact with the Fatui. Before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. <sighs> what a shame. A shame that we didn't meet sooner. If we had, well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately, but it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me! Oh, yes. Here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. If you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention. I offer a very generous discount for first-time customers. All right, Yenfei, all right. Let's get to the business at hand. I do not think these two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. You'll have to excuse Yanfei. She's always been like this. Ever the talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. Haima was gonna ask the same question. You seem really different from the ones we've met before. An Adeptus? Uh, I guess. Kinda. My old man said he was one anyway. 
he mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time, and then after that was all over, he went back and married my mom. They had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? Well, my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Anyway, let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find any at all. The chasm's been sealed off, and there's just no way in. Couldn't secure any documentation either. <sighs> Looks like the Ministry of Civil Affairs is serious about keeping it strictly locked down. Is that so? Hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Liyue greatly, after all. It is only right that they are duly rewarded. I know, Granny, you've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go, but there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative means of procurement. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Let me have a look. Whoa! That's a really thick book! What kind of things do you write in there? Commercial consultancy. Or... or... Snezhnaya... Ah! Found him! Krussel! A Snezhnayan merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves, all of them had to do with rare ores. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins, and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya. So, I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite, or might have an idea of where we can find some. Oh, you want to join me? I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. Wow, an adeptus imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. Well, that's a first for sure. Uh, best we be a little more careful than usual while we're with her. Okay, I think that's enough. Where are, we, where are they taking us? Oh, over there? I was gonna head that way. So I suppose we'll figure out how to get to Inazuma next time. But for now, that should be the end of the event. And next time we'll look into getting the Inazuma and the teapot thing. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.